All right, guys, this being my last day here in this beautiful country, I think it's uh, about time I gave you a small brief of my experience in Morocco and what I have thought about it so far. Is Morocco worth visiting? That's the first question I would want to address. And the answer is definitely yes. This country is so much, look, rich in color, rich in culture, rich in, uh, you know, hospitality, humanity, you know. What I would say is this entire country is so beautiful you would not believe. Because we have the north side, we have the middle, we have the south, we have everything. Like, it changes so much, you wouldn't believe you're in one and the same country. For example, if you go to like, uh, where we started in Marrakesh, it's this color scheme of buildings. Like it's so brown, it's so red. It's very, very beautiful. The Medina there is so amazing. If you go to the market, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of life, you know, entertainment, food, culture. The hustlers are there, but it's not so much hustling. That's a good thing. They'll try and sell you stuff, but like I feel like there's a level of restraint, which is quite okay for me, and I like it. Then of course, the journey to the desert. Oh. That journey was just amazing as you are there you see everything like you see the mountains the atlas mountains very very beautiful landscapes there you see like the valleys you see such greenery that you wouldn't believe you see like there's some greenery between the mountains and uh, like it's just the valley and it's so green you, you know it's just breathtaking like i don't think even the camera would do it enough justice as i would want to but you have to come and visit for yourself. Then of course you land in Mizuga in the desert and oh, it's just to die for. The views there, the sunset was so gorgeous, you wouldn't believe. So it was really something, something amazing and something you would not believe. The desert was just one of the best experiences. The sunset, sleeping in the desert, seeing how the weathers are different, how it's cold and warm at the same time. So that was simply amazing, you know. Yes, uh, then from there we went to Fez, another beautiful city in the old, one of the oldest cities in, uh, in, in Morocco. You know, it was really amazing and it was just simply, simply beautiful. Okay, uh, we're gonna try and figure it and then we'll continue. Remind me I was in Fez, I'll tell you what happened in Fez. Okay. Yeah, I was giving you a bit, some highlights about the trip. I'm really, really thinking this is a very beautiful country to come. I would highly recommend that people come here. Uh, life is a bit confusing here in terms of expenses. Some things are super cheap, some things are not so cheap. And especially you consider how the locals actually survive here with uh, not making so much money, you know. Because like if you see some restaurants, the food prices are almost Scandinavian prices. A bit cheaper, but if you think about like uh, the locals, I don't think they can be able to go out a lot. Although in this area where we are right now, in Agadir Bay, you can see that it's Agadir Bay. It's one of the most uh, rich areas. We were actually told that most people like the taxi drivers, the restaurant workers, they just do their shifts until around, uh, you know, closing time. Then they take their buses and they go in the outskirts because there is a bit cheaper. But this area of Agadir Bay is like where the rich hide, basically, in Morocco. It's very, very posh area, very beautiful cars, nice and luxury apartments everywhere, hotels, you know, the bougie life is mostly here. So, if you're coming from Europe, from the States, you know, it will be pretty affordable for you, or it will be quite okay. The taxis are cheap, actually. Uh, the taxis are cheap. They it probably costs like you know nothing you would pay in your home country so it's quite okay and uh, that's one thing i can say even the locals are taking taxis here but the buses are even cheaper all right so i'm gonna look for my bearing to the bus and then we'll continue with our chat later on all right kish my world as i was saying there's really nice posh quality life here you know you can see the fine restaurants on this side like it's nothing compared to like the areas where we were in the desert where the people are struggling to make ends meet you know so it's a huge contrast that we have seen here in morocco from place to place 
Okay, the cost of living. I don't know the cost of living because I haven't interacted with a local person, but that will bring me to a different point. The people in <laughs> the people in Morocco are uh, not too camera friendly. Not because of any <laughs> not because of any specific reasons, but I think it's just not in their culture to be filmed directly. Although there is cameras everywhere, you know, like security feed cameras. Like it's crazy. Like left, right, center, like in every corner. Let me show you. As even in this place we'll turn, I'm sure we'll find one somewhere. Ah bingo. There is one also, you know. Like literally everywhere you go you will find a security camera so i don't understand why people are so skeptical about being on camera but i guess it's in the culture people will give you information freehand but as soon as they realize you have a camera or you pull out a camera or bananas they'll run away or they won't want that even in the shops and this one you make it yourself oh yeah yeah okay okay you make it yourself yeah from your from your shop uh, in agadir so I couldn't interact one on one with somebody, you know, nobody who would accept to be like on camera willingly. So that's why I couldn't really get the cost of living like rent and salaries and stuff like that. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll continue when we are uh, in the airport probably. Yeah. Alright, kiss my world. Alright guys, the reflection goes on about this trip. Something that impressed me so much here in this beautiful country is actually the road, the roads. The roads are, are you know, they are really incredible because you find that the roads are smooth every single corner we have been. Be it in the big cities like in Marrakesh, be it in like in, uh, you know, like Rabat, be it in the villages like in Mezuga, mm -hmm. all the way. The roads have been amazing through the mountains, you know, uh, through the tunnels, all the curves through the mountains. Like it's really, really nice. It's very, very hard to find any potholes anywhere. So that has really impressed me, to be honest. Like unless we're in the like desert itself, that's the only place you find like a rough road. But otherwise, everything has been so, so smooth, and it's just flowing nice. And they're always constru constructing them, so it's not like we wait for them get potholes so that they construct you can see workers working you know in different parts so that has been super impressive in my opinion uh, another thing that has definitely impressed in this trip has been the coverage of uh, telephone coverage you know like when you are dealing with the internet we got a sim card from Maroc Telecom which is actually a 4G plus and it's been so impressive we have had coverage basically everywhere so to speak like even in the heart of the desert where we were there in the desert with nothing around wi-fi was still there but really impressive about morocco is boy, the internet we still have 4g internet and it's nine like 1909 in the middle of the desert 4g is like working so well like the internet here is amazing there's no place the internet has been disappearing morocco big up big up yourself look at this i mean why up north all the way in chef shawan coverage was there here in the south coverage like when you're traveling to even in the mountains like it's incredible man the coverage was awesome and uh, the prices were reasonable because like i got a uh, 10 gigabyte from day one to now i still have it yeah, i have some gigabytes left and i've not been you know been you know like like small with it or is it selfish or not using it i've not been careful with it i've been watching like youtube videos i've been using it on instagram to post to do a lot of stuff of course you've had wi-fi in most of the places we were staying but when we were outside it's been performing to the maximum so big up uh, Maroc Telecom or whatever it was called it's the orange one there we got it from the airport what else do I have to say about uh, the trip the Atlantic Ocean that was really nice to see because I have a goal of seeing all three oceans in my life the Pacific the Atlantic and the Indian 
and I got to see and touch the Atlantic Ocean. The waters were cold, but uh, the more you walk in it, your body gradually adjusts into it. I didn't get to swim in it because it wasn't really like the type of beaches like you'd get from like Malindi or in Dar es Salaam or like in Mexico, you know, it wasn't white sands. It was just like normal sandy beaches and the water distance was a bit far. But the water was actually cold as compared to other other oceans that have or the other ocean that I've actually touched. So I'm looking forward to seeing the Pacific. That is the last ocean that I need to see and my heart will be happy because I have like that in my bucket list. So I don't know. Give me a suggestion of where I should go where I can interact with the Pacific and uh, comment down there below so that we can see. And it will be good. Alright. What else did I want to say? I talked about how much life is here. Life is not super cheap, but it's tolerable. Yeah, and that especially I was told when you compare it with like the neighboring countries here, like Algeria and Tunisia, the life here is the most expensive here. Uh, the food maybe we can talk about. Yeah, the food here uh, has not been disappointing, so to speak. I have not, I don't think I've been disappointed by a meal. Have you been disappointed by anything? No. No. <laughs> okay. Jacqueline has become Moroccan now. She's camera shy. <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, it has been very nice. Uh, if you know me, you know chapati is like my favorite food. And uh, the Moroccans have a similar thing, only like in smaller bit, bits called uh, Mseme. And uh, I did it to say Semen and then Mseme to remember that name because <laughs> and it never, I never forgot it. So Mseme is like my chapati here and I really love it. I've been eating it all the time. And uh, we even took a bunch to with us when we were coming. The light keeps changing on and off, I don't know why. But we're in the taxi, so I guess you guys will understand. Yes, so Msemen, that was my favorite, the chapati thing. But also like the tagine was really amazing, especially the, the one with lemon, oh, it was nice. Uh, I had couscous, it was really nice. But the funny thing also, where uh, about the couscous, it doesn't, they don't serve it every day, so we still didn't know which days they serve it. It's only specific days. So we go to most places and another couscous and be like, oh no, not today, maybe only on Fridays. Oh, no. It's a meal they eat with a special thing, I don't understand. I haven't been long enough to understand. But yeah, couscous was also nice and it's also very popular here. Uh, a lot of the mint tea we've drunk, it's been really nice. Uh, there's, uh, we actually discovered this like mint tea. And then there is the uh, Moroccan tea with now herbs and spices and that one. And uh, I love them both. And towards the last days, I came to discover that if you take the mint tea and you combine it with the, no, the, the herbal tea, because it's really spicy, you know, with all the spices, and you combine it with uh, honey, then it's nice, very, very nice, yeah, according to me. Yeah, and we tried to learn how to pour it the long way and everything, but yeah, <laughs> you know practice in the future will at least know what to do yeah uh, other drinks the smoothies oh my gosh they were amazing the juices fresh juice okay in the markets the, the soup was even cheaper you know and uh, the drinks were just nice and amazing the juices different types the fruits oh my gosh the fruits were so nice i've really enjoyed the fruits you know the the, the grapes the, the plums mango everything was simply amazing so that was nice and i tried to do a little bit more of uh, the food coverage you know so that you guys can at least get to see some of that all right but i'm gonna continue a little bit later because we are almost in the airport now so i need to get my stuff ready this is our drive there all right see you guys inside the airport and then we finish off this video there Just my world Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here in the airport in Agadir. Oh, time to say goodbye to this beautiful country called Morocco. Man, it's been an amazing journey, an amazing city, and we we have been loving it so much. But all good things have to come to an end. I'm gonna miss you, Africa, man. Yeah, so it's back to Europe. It's been an enjoyable trip here. So it's time to. I can take that one. Okay. Can I help you? Huh? Can, can I help you? No, 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 it's not too much. Thank you, thank you, anyway. Okay, yeah. brother, okay, brother. Okay. 
Let me take my sister. Go fly, go fly. Thank you, thank you so much. Madam, you can put yours here. For how much? 50 euro. Okay, guys, we're at the airport. See you guys. We are departing now. Mm. Kiss my wall.